friends so we are going to learn a new concept called as harmonic functions now the question is what are harmonic functions so let me tell you that any function of x and y which has continuous the partial derivative of first order and second order and which satisfy the laplace equation in cartesian form such equation or such function is called as harmonic function or let's say if we have a function in terms of r n theta which has continuous partial derivatives of first and second order and which satisfies the laplace equation in polar form is also called as harmonic function so i'll write down the definition So I'll repeat once again that any function of x and y which has continuous partial derivatives of first and second order and which satisfies the Laplace equation in Cartesian form is called as harmonic function. So to explain this definition, let's consider a function phi of x and y. So phi is a function of x and y. Now the condition is it should have the first and second order derivative or sec first and second order partial derivative. So it means we should get the value of dou phi by dou x, dou phi by dou y and dou square phi by dou x square and dou square phi by dou y square. So if this first and second order derivative exists for this phi and if it satisfies the Laplace equation. So what is the Laplace equation in Cartesian form? So for this function phi, we can say that dou square phi by dou x square plus dou square phi by dou y square equal to 0. So this is the Laplace equation in Cartesian form. So if this Laplace equation is satisfied, it means if the addition of these two second order terms is equal to 0, then we say that phi is harmonic function. And we can use this same definition or the same concept for the polar coordinates as well. So in polar, any function of r n theta. So let's consider here that again the phi is function of r n theta. So which has continuous partial derivative of first and second order and which satisfies the Laplace equation in polar form. So what is the Laplace equation in polar form? So it is dou square phi by dou r square plus 1 by r dou phi by dou r plus 1 upon r square dou square phi by dou theta square equal to 0. So this is again the Laplace equation in polar form and this is the Laplace equation in Cartesian form. So if your function is in terms of r n theta then it should satisfy the Laplace equation in r n theta or I will say Laplace equation in polar form. So if it is satisfying the Laplace equation in polar form and if it is having first and second order derivative then we say that that phi is harmonic function. So we are going to use this concept of harmonic function to prove certain functions as harmonic. Also we have certain properties of harmonic function which are related with analytic function. So I'll tell you. So the first property is if f of z is equal to u plus iv is analytic function. So now this u and v can be in terms of x and y that is in Cartesian form or u and v can be in terms of r and theta that is polar form. So if f of z is analytic by any way then we say that u and v both are harmonic. So whenever function is analytic, the real part and imaginary part 
are harmonic functions. Next, if this f of z is analytic function, then u and v are harmonic and they are also called as, so here I will say, and called as conjugate harmonic function. So, if u plus iv, that is f of z is analytic, then we say u and v are harmonic functions and they are called as conjugate harmonic functions of each other. It means u is conjugate harmonic of v and v is conjugate harmonic of u. So, we are going to use this result or this property while solving few numericals. Thank you.